O Pino Pulot God, ang bawat puso ng bawat isa na magiging receptive, Lord God, sa inyong word. Lord, let your word be a guiding light para sa mga tao, Lord God, na naghahanap ng clarification, naghahanap, Lord God, ng iyong wisdom, Lord God, sa mga bagay na kailangan pagbigis si Sudan. Lord, lead them, lead each one of us, Lord. Bigyan niyo po, Lord God, ng courage ang bawat isa na magpapatuloy to endure to the end, Lord God. Because the fight has just begun, Lord God. And we will end up victorious, Lord God. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, 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 Nagin sabi ko na Gamitin mo ko nito Nagin puso Pagitin mo ko nito Pagatin Bibig mo nito Para pag-aluyan na ninyo Sa lahat ng mga sa nangyan May it be a guidance May it be a review May it be a teaching mo ka Lord sabi na hindi ka prepared but I always trust the Lord through His Holy Spirit to give us wisdom and so salamat sa buhay ng bawat isa at uh, ito po ay gabi na may purpose ng Panginoon bakit tayo ay nandito it's not for the sake of attendance It's not for the sake of meeting each other, but ito po ay isang napakahalagang time sa buhay ng bawat isa. Ito 
Lord in every situation, ang Panginoon po ay nangungusap sa atin sa lahat ng naskito ng buhay natin. Amen. Our topic for tonight's service, mga kapatid, I was actually asking for God's uh, revelation of what word na ipababa niya ngayon. And hindi ko makita pa yung revelation, but then I remembered when Teacher Core was here last Tuesday and out of curiosity and of course na gusto ko rin matutunan sa Teacher Core, I approached her dahil nag-uusap yung mga kasama namin dito and then I was telling her about the plan that I had with my wife before coming to the UAE. And because of that discussion, it led to the revelation of the Word of God na ito yung topic natin ngayon. And I was, sabi ko niya ko, read it kasi kaninang madaling araw ko lang na halos hindi matapos ang slide. Sabi ko, Lord, ikaw nang mahala. Ikaw nang mahala ko, Lord. Kasi wala nang mga masters din na yung mga disipulo dati. Amen. And so, out of the discussion, we were talking, I was talking to her, sabi, kasi because she was talking about the will ng Panginoon. And then, sabi ko with all humility, anong klaseng will pala yun, teacher for? When we were in the Philippines, we had all plans with my wife, sabi namin, kasi doon, we tried a business pero hindi gumagana. We used to have a dragon fruit uh, plantation, about a hectare, and we spent uh, more than a million out of hard-earned money namin dito. And we were so positive at the start, but then, God did not permit me to prosper. And so, why I was talking about it? Because it has a connection of the very reason why God has brought us here. Because while we were in the Philippines, mga kapatid, sabi namin, ano ba yung pwedeng country na kahit may edad na tayo, pwedeng magtrabaho? Because in the Philippines, nag-apply po po ng DILG, Department of Interior and Local Government, and trusting na may qualification, kasi political science at uh, law graduate ako, so wala po may mas qualification. And then experience-wise, experience naman ako. And so, I tried contacting some mga connections sa region. And I was so surprised when after all the positivity, sinasabi, over oh, 25 ko ako. Kasi, yung edad ko. So, naman yung gabitin natin ng overage, overqualified. So, ang nangyari mga kapatid, na-turn down yung application ko. And so, we were thinking about ang yung gawin natin sa Mrs. Ko. Although, I had a chance to work for an American company as a global talent acquisition specialist sa Asia Pacific at to support the U.S. team. But then, temporary, hindi rin inano ng Panginoon. Ano na ito yung mayroon mo sa buhay ko? And so, we start contacting na may tabatch ko sa bar sa nandun sa Australia na hindi rin naging namugado. Sabi niya, Brad, punta ka rin tutulungan kita. Narami kong katilaga ng mga manager sa business mo dito. Hindi nag-research kagad kami. And then, we found out, ito, excited kami kasi wala din limit ang edad doon. Hindi, hindi sabihin namin kinakotay ng madala dito. And so we tried, and then kinatry ng uh, asawa ko yung site. So excited kami. But then we came to find out na pag 45 na palang edad mo doon, hindi ka na magiging permanent resident. 
parang yung work mo. So sabi ko hindi pwede. Saan ba tayo, talaga tayo? Dito sa atin na, binirap sa atin. Ah, so, binigyan kami ng ano ng talaga. So doon, prayer ng prayer kami. Grabe ang prayer namin. Si, uh, uh, prayer, uh, ansis, uh, ansis and prayer. Oh, ceaseless prayer. Or uh, as, ano na prayer. So, ang nangyari, naprobahan siya. Just one, uh, one week, two weeks, naprobahan yung visa namin. Sabi ko, sabi ko, no, grabe, grabe ako. Five years, multiple entry visa. Higa lang ako. Ganun ako na, five years. Tapos sa akin ng asawa ko, five years sa inyo? Sa akin na, ten years. So, ten years sa kanya. So, we were so excited. And then, what happened was, inaalaw talaga ng Panginoon, na makapagpunta kami doon. And since, since nanumbalik na yung ministry namin, yung, yung init ng pag-serve ni Lord, so we were so positive that God allowed us to go there. And because of that, we were so positive na ito, makahanap mo ng trabaho. But then, pagdating naman ito, excited kasi, oh, ito na po na. Kasi napaka-ginaw. O pala nang sunod, ito yung talagang napaka-cool. Napakalami. Paglabas namin sa puti, ganito ba talagang ito? Parang nasa freezer. November 10. Ang so nangyari, continue kami doon. Then nag-apply-apply kami every day. Kasi alam ko paano maghanap yung mga applicants all over the world. Eh, mas magaling makahanap ng employer. I reverse lang yan. Ganun, reverse osmosis. <laughs> so ang nangyari, apply. One full month, wala pa talagang tawag. <laughs> So, nag-transfer kami ng ibang province. Kinukontak naman yung kasama namin dito sa Bulabi. Pero ang Panginoon talaga, talagang in-order niya, wala talagang bayad namin sa mga pinag-titerha namin. So, apply, 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 apply. May mga interview. So, galing isang province, punta kami ng uh, uh, um, Alberta. And then from Alberta, balik. Grabe ito nga. Until, sabi ko, may mga interview problema yung visa process mataas. So, may isa na lang akong inantay. Sabi ko, pag wala pa ito, aalis na tayo sa lugar na to. And then, I got an interview from a global company called BHP, mining company, uh, uh, established since 1800. Malaki na rin siya all over the world. So, kinukontakt ako ng isang Peruvian because he wanted to create a team sa Americas, Northern, Central, at saka sa North, South. So sabi ka, sabi niya, after the trip, positive din ako. Sabi niya, ikaw yung i-assign sa Canada, then mga teammates mo, US, Mexico, at saka uh, South America. So na-excited ako. Sabi ko, Lord, ito na talagang bigay mo, Lord. I was so excited. Kasi, believer na tayo eh. And with all the convictions in our heart, sabi ko, nakalahin na tayo ng Panginoon. And so with all those uh, 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 trust ng Panginoon, excited ako. And then, sabi, ipaantay lang two weeks. After second week, yung tawag, wala din email. Hindi na follow up ako ng email. Ngayon, nag-respond, ang sabi niya sa email. Ah, pinakain na lang sa amin, antay mo na for another week. Sabi ko, ito, ito, siguro, okay naman, kasi hindi naman ako din turned out. Until, nalaman ko, after three weeks, na hindi rin ako natanggap kasi, kailangan nila, by March 3rd week, maka-join ako. But the process is, since I'm a tourist visa, it would take me 7 months to join. After all the labor, work permit, and the labor impact yeah. assessment I mean, yeah. the LMIA, at saka from at the US. So no one could wait. Sabi namin, Lord, hindi siguro ito ang lugar nito. Sabi namin, ano ito sa atin? Ano yung tulungan ng baka sa atin? Ano yung sabi na yung plan natin sa iyo ay one more time? Kasi tulungan tayo yung naman ng Panginoon. So nandito kami. So yung sinishare ko ni Teacher Cor, Lord, Teacher, naalaw mo ng Panginoon doon kami na makapagpunta. Sabi ni Pernice Sibiliyo, and therefore, our topic for tonight 
The title for the topic tonight is actually a part of the verse in Matthew 26, 42 that says, He went away again the second time and prayed saying, Oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Sa Tagalog, sabi dito, sa ikalawang pagkakataon ay muli siyang umalis at nananalangin ang ganito, aking ama, kung hindi, maaaring lumampas ang kupang ito, malibang ito ay aking inumin. Masunod na wa 